I often get asked, what is hydroelectric? And it was Oliver's electric, or hydraulic system. It was very ahead of its time. The very first incarnation of it used something like this. It was an entirely electric over hydraulic system. You just had, uh, depending on which way you hooked your hoses up, but you would uh, pull the lever one way or the other to let your implement up or down. And then as I'll demonstrate on another tractor, you would hold it to the side to adjust the stop collar on the uh, cylinder. And then your hydraulic unit was down here below the dash. They had lots of problem with dirt and moisture getting into these switches. This was the late 40s when they developed all this stuff, so it was cutting edge then and just uh, couldn't handle the weather. This one actually works. Uh, when it's running, the switch does what it's supposed to. And, and, uh, and then later on, can't really see it here, but they would add, uh, they added some mechanical levers on because of the switch failing so that you could still use it. A regular hydraulic cylinder works with this system. You don't have to have the wiring hooked up. Well, now I'll show you on the uh, Super how they did things. By the time of the Super Series, they had what they called the Series 3 hydraulic unit. They had incorporated a hydraulic filter into it. Previous models didn't have that. Uh, and they eliminated the electric switch being up here on the dash or on the steering column. And it was just the levers coming out of the top. And it was pretty simple. Held it down to go down. And the switch is still on. Up to go up. It'll work with a regular cylinder. Just like normal. Up, down, up, down. If you wanted to change the stop collar. Which we'll show right back here. If you had an actual hydroelectric cylinder. There was a cable that ran, ran back to it. Went in here, there's a micro or a switch up here, and an electromagnet in here. I'll demonstrate it in a moment. But when you held the lever to the side, that would hold the stop collar, and then you could adjust where it was in case you wanted to adjust your stopping depth. Then the rest of the time, you just had to hit the lever, and it would go until it was all the way up or coming down until it hit that stop collar. This one works just fine. So I'm going to demonstrate it here real quick. Hopefully you can hear me. Got it turned on. So if I hit the lever up, it stays up. The cylinder extends till it gets to the top. The lever kicks back down. Same thing going down, the lever kicks out. Now say I want to adjust the depth. I hold the lever to the side, lift up. Notice how the stop collar is staying with it. Now I can lift it up. Next time it comes back down, it'll stop at that stop collar. All adjusted from the seat of the tractor, never have to get off. If you want it to go a little deeper, you didn't even have to hold the lever, you just went in a little farther. Next time it would go up. Back down. You just held to the side like that. Go up a little and adjust that cylinder. Stop. Up. Down. Most people have cut the wires off from theirs as the switch and connections would get bad. Everything would still work like a normal cylinder rather than messing with fixing it. They finally just cut wires off, worked it like a regular cylinder. That was the idea, and I'll show you what one looks like on a, how they change things on a 50 series. Someone's taking the switches out of the levers on this one, but it's the one I got with the best light at the moment. Normally there'd be a button right here, and it'd work the same. When going up, you'd hold back, and you'd pull, if you wanted to change that stop collar, holding that button, 
would engage the electromagnet on the cylinder and hold that stop collar so you could put it wherever you wanted. And if, say, you had the lever back and it was staying in and you wanted to kick out early, you could just tap that button and that would also do the same thing, disengage the solenoids inside the hydraulic unit. It was this way in the 1800, 1900, non up. Uh, they discontinued the hydroelectric system by the time of the 55 series. But there was lots of, lots of wiring, lots of coils, great system, but lots of room for problems to happen. Uh, mechanical ways of doing it with detent cylinders and uh, mechanical stops seemed to win out the day and that's what everybody went to. That's, that's what it's all about. You can cut the wires off, take the fuse out for it, and use them like a regular hydraulic system. Don't have to worry about it. But if you do have one that works, it's kind of a neat thing to have. Hope you enjoyed this.